As many as one million Americans are living with Parkinson's disease, a progressive movement disorder with no cure. Medications may help control the symptoms for a period of time, but eventually they lose their punch. As Marty Salt reports, researchers now say they have found a way to prevent Parkinson's from developing in animals, which is a huge step towards eliminating the disease in people. Feel the broadness of your back. 52-year-old Luann Rottermacher starts and ends every day by stretching and loosening her lean frame. For her, it's the best way to fight the disease attacking her body. My goal is to stave it off as long as possible. Luann was just 44 and a new mom when doctors diagnosed her with Parkinson's disease. I took my husband, an 18-month-old at the time, with me to the appointment. I wanted to show her this is the goal. This is an 18-month-old son. I love him dearly and I want to be active for him. Dr. Edward Burton is among a team of researchers working on a way to slow down the progression of the disease. Using gene therapy in rats, researchers engineered a reduction in a protein in the brain known as alpha-synuclein. Researchers suspect that it has a role in the development of Parkinson's. It's quite possible that knocking down the protein by 30 to 40 percent will prevent Parkinson's from progressing, for example. Dr. Burton says the finding could lead to new drugs to protect the brain from neurodegeneration. I think that this is another key piece in the puzzle that eventually will enable us collectively as a field to have effective treatments for Parkinson's. I think the research is important because it gives hope. And with a disease like Parkinson's, you, you need hope. I'm Marty Salt reporting. Dr. Burton says a clinical trial of gene therapy in humans is only two to three years away. He says the therapy needs to be tested in other animals and researchers need to assess the long-term effects before it could move on to human trial.